During an unforgettable family safari in the famous Maasai Mara, a chilling event occurred that garnered global attention. Regina, a mother who had longed to share the magic of an African safari with her family during Christmas, found herself in a perilous situation that far exceeded her expectations. As they ventured through the thick forest, Regina lost track of her family and came face to face with a starving lion. The encounter with the magnificent yet intimidating creature sent shivers up her spine as it fixed its gaze on her with intense scrutiny. And Regina's heart raced as she realized she was looking directly into the eyes of the jungle's monarch. The lion, ominously motionless, eyed Regina as its next meal. Paralyzed with fear, Regina was caught in a dilemma, to stay still, hoping the lion would mistake her for dead, or to make a run for her life. The visible ribs on the lion's gaunt frame indicated its extreme hunger, making Regina acutely aware that she was inches away from death. Regina had never imagined finding herself in such a dire situation, even though their guide, Jabari, had instructed the group on how to react if they encountered a lion, an elephant, or even a monkey without him. Unfortunately, Regina had been more engrossed in capturing the moment with her camera than in heeding these essential survival instructions. Now, overwhelmed with regret and fear, Regina berated herself for her inattention. The lion, perceiving an opportunity, menacingly advanced towards her. Instinctively, Regina took a step back, each movement a silent plea for survival. Images of her children, epitomes of innocence and happiness, and thoughts of her husband James her rock during fearful times, flashed through her mind, with no other recourse, Regina turned and sprinted with all her strength in a frantic bid for survival. Despite her efforts, she was aware that outrunning a lion on foot was almost an impossibility. Shortly after, the lion bridged the distance and leapt, drastically changing the trajectory of that fateful Christmas day. Regina screamed as she fell hard to the ground, her breaths short and rapid, Terror immobilized her body, and panic seized her chest as she grasped the severity of her situation. A lion had bitten into her leg, and in that horrifying instant, Regina felt as trivial as the acacia seeds scattered around her. She attempted to critical this advice would become, as the jeep navigated through the dense jungle, Regina's voice attempted to call for help, but it was lost in the vastness of the wilderness. A chilling thought struck her, could this be her last day? Was she destined to perish here in the jungle on Christmas Day? Regina regretted not staying home with her loved ones, who were likely gathered around the Christmas tree at that moment. Instead of navigating the remote depths of a jungle, her inclination for thrill-seeking and discovery, a passion she shared with her husband, James, had always driven her. The couple had journeyed through numerous global wonders and were on the verge of ticking off the last item on their bucket list, a safari in Africa. Their busy careers and parenting duties hadn't allowed them an adventure in quite some time. This Christmas break, they decided it was time to pursue that final item. They arranged the necessary leave and began preparations for their African safari. The day they had been waiting for finally arrived, and the family of four boarded a plane to Kenya. They landed and took a taxi ride to the esteemed Maasai Mara National Reserve a top-ranked park renowned for its world-class wildlife safaris. They were met by their guide, Jabari, who welcomed them with, Hello, my name is Jabari, welcome to the Maasai Mara National Reserve. He escorted them to their cottage, outlining the critical safety protocols during their stay. Overwhelmed with excitement, Regina eagerly captured photos and videos as they walked to their lodging. Inadvertently ignoring Jabari's safety briefing, a lapse she would deeply regret later. Their adventure commenced the following day with a hot air balloon safari offering a breathtaking view of the reserve from above. During the subsequent safari drive, the family excitedly climbed into the jeep and plunged into the jungle's heart surrounding the savanna. As they traveled along the dusty paths, Regina's excitement surged. Jabari narrated the grandeur of the Mara, his voice a comforting sound amidst the wilderness. He emphasized the importance of respecting the natural environment and its inhabitants. A lesson Regina was soon to learn the hard way. Soon, those words would manifest as her harsh reality. 
Regina had received caution from her guide about the risks that had plagued previous adventurers. Yet, she was enchanted by the breathtaking natural scenery that enveloped her, giving her the impression of having entered a new world, one that seemed to fulfill the desires of her soul. Nevertheless, fate had a different outcome planned for her. While pausing to gaze at a grand procession of elephants, Regina was drawn to a faint melody in the distance. This melody blended perfectly with the rustling of the grass, awakening a profound curiosity within her. Drawn by the captivating tune, she pursued it, unaware of the dangers that lay beyond her immediate senses. Engrossed in her wonder, she didn't realize the extent of her wandering until the jeep that had transported her was out of sight. And panic struck as she acknowledged her isolation, she had left all her belongings, including any means to communicate. In the vehicle, in desperation, Regina attempted to backtrack, but the more she walked, the more disoriented she felt. Exhausted and distressed, she finally sat under an acacia tree to rest, clinging to the hope that her family would soon notice her absence and begin searching for her. As she waited, the ominous growl of a lion shattered the quiet, and shortly after, a massive lion appeared from the underbrush, fixing its gaze on her. Meanwhile, back at the jeep, her group was engrossed in capturing perfect shots and had not noticed Regina's disappearance. It was only when they were about to depart that they realized she was missing. Panic immediately ensued as they began to search the vast wilderness, hoping to locate her before any danger ensued. Jabari and James instructed the children to remain in the jeep as they ventured into the dense foliage calling out for Regina. But without success, as minutes turned into hours with no trace of Regina, Jabari placed an emergency call to the park rangers, aware that with each passing moment, the risk to her safety grew. James was overwhelmed with a deep feeling of helplessness, holding on to hope as they awaited the rangers' arrival. Upon their arrival, a professional search team was quickly organized, with the expertise of the park rangers, James, and the guide, they set out to extensively cover the area. She could hear the distant calls of the park rangers and her friends. Their voices now a faint echo amidst the dense foliage, reminding her that help was somewhere nearby. Yet so far because of the intimidating presence of the lion, as they traced Regina's footsteps, their voices filled the atmosphere a sign to Regina that she was not entirely isolated, as Regina and her group had delved deeper into the thick, hazardous undergrowth, the environment had become more menacing. Unaware to her, the voices of her companions had been overwhelmed by the deep, frightening roar of a lion, a sound so profound and alarming that it seemed to vibrate through the earth itself. In a moment of absolute terror, Regina had shut her eyes tightly and murmurily recited what she thought could be her final prayer. The air around her face heated up as the lion exhaled, a warm breath so near she thought she might pass out from fear before any actual attack occurred. Yet, the anticipated attack never materialized. Instead, she felt something rough and moist brush against her skin. Shocked and repelled, Regina's eyes flew open, and she was astounded by what she saw. The lion wasn't attacking her, it was tenderly licking her face with cautious, gentle strokes. This was not the action of a hungry predator ready to pounce, but rather an animal exhibiting an unusual kind of tenderness, as though it were trying to offer her comfort. Immobilized, Regina allowed the lion to continue for a few more seconds. She watched as the majestic animal then sat back on its haunches, still very close to her. Disbelief overwhelmed her as she pondered the reality of the encounter. Was this a hallucination? Had she fainted as she had hoped? The eerie calm was broken as the lion roared again, the force of its voice causing her body to stiffen in fear. It was then she understood that she was indeed awake and not protected by unconsciousness from the harsh possible realities of the encounter. Taking a deep breath she hadn't realized she had been holding. Regina cautiously examined her surroundings, trying to make sense of the predicament she was in. The lion remained nearby, its massive front paw resting softly on her legs, as if to signal her to stay still. A terrifying thought crossed her mind. Was the lion merely restraining her until the rest of its pride arrived? As she shook uncontrollably, the lion tilted its head in a gesture that seemed almost reflective. 
observing Regina with an intensity that both heightened her fear and ignited a flicker of awe. The head of the beast tilted, evidently confused by her terror. It emitted a deep growl followed by a loud roar. Was it signaling its peers? Was her already perilous situation about to deteriorate further? Tears cascaded down Regina's cheeks, yet she remained motionless, too terrified to wipe them away. Her mind was haunted by visions of her children and the dread they would endure when they learned of her demise. However, in an unexpected turn, the lion let out a soft whimper. Motivated by a combination of fear and curiosity, Regina bravely locked eyes with it again. To her amazement, she detected no hostility, only what seemed like anxiety. The lion's paw, resting on her leg, moved gently back and forth, almost in a comforting manner. The creature's behavior suggested it wasn't there to cause harm but possibly to convey or comprehend something beyond human understanding. In this moment of petrifying beauty and deep bewilderment, Regina sat immobilized, torn between fear and awe, as she witnessed the melding of the wild and the inexplicable. As Regina tenderly caressed the regal lion, an epiphany struck her. Could this intimidating animal actually be offering comfort in her time of need? Her confusion intensified as the lion, rather than surveying the expansive savanna, let out a roar and shifted its focus to the path she had come from. Regina realized the lion wasn't calling to its kind but seemed to be signaling to the very humans who were frantically looking for her. In a trance, Regina cautiously reached out her shaking hand and placed it on the lion's large paw. The predator looked into her eyes briefly before releasing another mighty roar. Then, with a sudden burst of energy, the lion leapt up and sprinted toward the tree line. Before Regina could gather her thoughts, the silence was shattered by gunshots and a group of armed men appeared from the jungle. Startled by the gunfire and the sudden departure of the lion, Regina was engulfed in fear. However, her anxiety swiftly turned to relief when she saw her husband running towards her. It was a rescue team, and they had come for her. Wrapped in her husband's embrace, Regina experienced a surge of relief that soothed her shaken spirit. She noticed a few scratches on her back where the lion had held her down but she was alive and profoundly relieved. With tears streaming down her face, Regina expressed her deep remorse to her husband. I'm incredibly sorry, I don't even know what I was searching for that led me astray, she wept. While her husband, James, held her close, offering comfort and assuring her of her safety. Despite his reassurances, she was haunted by guilt. What if something had happened to me? At that moment, I was completely paralyzed with fear she admitted through her tears. Regina narrated to the bewildered park rangers how a lion had remained by her side, providing her with company as the search team scoured the area for her. She recounted how the lion had roared, seemingly to alert the searchers to their location, showing them the scratches on her leg. She detailed how the lion had gently placed its paw on her after affectionately licking her face clean. The rangers, taken aback, speculated that she might still be in shock, her perceptions possibly altered by the stress of the situation, despite their doubts and the lack of bite marks on her body. The rangers could not conclusively refute her story. Confounded, the rescuers tended to her immediate health concerns. They meticulously checked Regina for any broken bones, fractures, or internal injuries resulting from her frantic efforts to flee what she believed was a perilous encounter. Remarkably, Regina appeared to be in good health, displaying tremendous resilience and strength. She was provided with food and water as the team readied to escort her back to a safe environment. All the while contemplating the extraordinary connection she seemed to have forged with the wild lion during her terrifying ordeal. To maintain her hydration and energy after the ordeal, Regina kept drinking water. Once she was stable, James and the rangers escorted her back to their jeep. As they neared the vehicle, Regina cast a final look towards the tree line, hoping to see the lion that had mysteriously protected her. But it had disappeared. Her children, who were initially overwhelmed and had lost their cheer, rushed to embrace her, their joy returning as they reunited with their mother. Together, the family boarded the safari jeep and started their journey back to their cabin. Regina experienced a whirlwind of emotions, 
what was intended to be an exhilarating Christmas Day adventure had morphed into a terrifying encounter. As she looked out at the expansive savanna, memories of her life-threatening ordeal came flooding back, casting a shadow over her initial excitement about crossing another adventure off her bucket list. This near-fatal incident served as a stark reminder of how crucial it is to follow safety guidelines, a deviation she deeply regretted. Despite the frightening experience, Regina was profoundly thankful for the unexpected assistance of a lion. Without the lion's intervention, she might have strayed further into danger, possibly running into less merciful predators. She wondered about the lion's surprising act of kindness, a question that would linger with her indefinitely. Once home, Regina shared the details of her ordeal in a comprehensive Facebook post. She described the terror she felt and her gratitude for encountering what seemed to be the only compassionate lion. She ended her post with a vital piece of advice to her friends and followers, always stick to the path recommended by tour guides. Her story quickly spread across the globe, resonating with thousands and drawing numerous comments about her extraordinary fortune. Regina was aware that she had narrowly avoided death due to a poor decision. And she was thankful that her audience didn't romanticize her predicament. After closing her laptop, she mentally checked off the final item on her travel bucket list. She had come close to losing her life in the jungle, yet she had witnessed its raw, unfiltered beauty. What an enthralling story. Have you ever experienced consequences for not following instructions? How did it turn out for you? Share your stories with us in the comments section. We'd love to hear about them. Thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one.